Welcome to the Tool Review Channel. Today we're taking a look at the Hilmar Offset Refrigeration Wrench. Now, as you can see here, we have the refrigeration wrench and the service valve or the service valve key, whatever you want to call it, or refrigeration key, whatever you would like to call it. We'll go ahead and get that out here and we'll start off the video here. So as you can see, like I said, this is the offset version of this tool and it has a four, quarter inch screw, five sixteenths, three sixteenths and a three eighths. These are all square headed screws or bolts. Um, which you're going to run into in the refrigeration field, especially when it comes to um, set screws, especially the set screws for that hold blower, blower wheels or uh, fans to the, the shafts that they are. You get nine times out of 10, it's gonna be held on by a square headed screw and you can use that quarter inch side um, just to ratchet it off right there. And as you can see, the stuff is all laser etched onto the tool and there are these two um, I believe they are rivets or screws that hold the tool together and as you can see you have some rivets on the back that hold your switches that allow you to change direction of the which way you want to ratchet and you can see you have your Hilmer and all your markings on the tool are laser etched onto the surface as well and as you can see right there you have 316 3s on the back there as well and this side is offset as well so if you needed a larger screw to remove if you had a 3 8 screw that you needed to remove you could do that no problem um, if you got a 5 16th screw, uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky to do that. Um, same with the 3 16th, but I don't think there's really many um, blower wheels and stuff like that held on with those kind of screws, so I don't really think you have to worry. And as you can see, this is how you switch directions on which way you want the tool to ratchet. As you can see right there, that is how the tool ratchet is. Now, one thing you got to have to do with this ratcheting mechanism, you do have to oil it regularly and keep it clean. Um, I've had one of my tools where I didn't really, when I first got a refrigeration rinse, I didn't really oil it that very much. Uh, and eventually over time, the tool did start to lock up and didn't really want to move and just put some oil on there and it became free moving again. Um, so that's pretty much it for the wrench. We'll go ahead and bring that uh, key back in here. As you can see right here, now this key is actually two different sizes. So this bottom portion is 3 16 which is going to be for your smaller um, liquid line valve. And then you have your larger key up here, which is 5 16 uh, And that is going to be for your larger suction line uh, valve as well. Now, the one thing I'm not really a fan of on this Hilmer wrench is how this um, key fits into the wrench. I just feel like the mechanism is, as you can see right there, it pulls off relatively uh, super easy rather than some of the, like, you know, the, one of the first refrigeration wrenches I had, it locked in and held in pretty nice. Uh, but as you can see, this one, it just feels a little bit loose and a little bit cheap. Uh, that's just my, um, something that I observed uh, on this key. It just feels a little bit cheap and doesn't feel like it's gonna hold in, especially when you're really wrenching on uh, wrenching on a valve or something that might be stuck, you're trying to get it open. I just feel like this is gonna pop off super easily. That's my really only complaint with this tool. So now we'll get, go ahead and zoom out here and we'll get to some, we'll get to the uh, demonstration of how this tool works. So here we have a suction line valve and then we have our liquid line valve right here. Uh, these were taken off of an old unit. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with our liquid line. And as you can see, this valve is closed. And what you do is you just basically insert the key there uh, and you ratchet it open or you can ratchet it closed depending on what you're doing. So right there it is closed. So we'll go ahead and break it open. And as you can see right there, you're just gonna ratchet it until the valve is completely open. Now you do this for a number of reasons. So you could be pumping down the unit, um, maybe to fix a repair. Uh, fix a leak or repair the unit. You want to pump all the refrigerant down. So you want to close one side and pump it all down to the other side, pump it all down into the unit so that way you can contain it and you don't have to take all the refrigerant out of the system. Or if, if you're getting, if you install a new system, it's going to come pre-charged and you want to free that charge once you have everything installed. You want to open those valves up. So as you can see, that is the valve open and all you have to do is switch directions. Just use this little uh, switch right here at the top and as you can see, this one is a lot larger in size. Um, so the key is actually going to fit all the way down into there. As you can see right there, it fits all the way down into there. So right now the valve is closed. So we'll go ahead and crank that guy open. And obviously it's going to take quite a bit of uh, cranks to get it open. Now you don't have to open it all the way, um, but you don't have to close it all the way. You're just gonna restrict how much refrigerant goes through uh, the valve. Um, but as you can see right there, the tool does work relatively nice and smooth, which is nice. 
Uh, it's definitely better to have um, than using a standard Allen key, which I've seen some guys use out in the field. They have, you know, their long L key or Allen key, whatever you like to call it, and they're just sitting there spinning that thing all the way around like this, when you can just have a refrigeration wrench like this, and, you know, with a few cranks, you can have that valve. As you can see, we're about to have it open right here. So right there, as you can see, the valve is open, then you just switch directions of the tool, and you start to close that valve, as you can see right there, and you can go as fast as you want, or you can go as slow as you want. So overall, this is definitely a, it's a nice tool from Hilmer. Um, it's definitely a relatively affordable tool. It's not something that's crazy expensive, uh, but it's also not something that's super cheap as well. Um, so it is going to be a nice uh, quality tool, I will have to say. Now, the one thing uh, at the time of when I purchased this tool, I had to buy this key separate. Uh, I'm not sure if they sell it with um, with a wrench now, uh, but at the time of purchasing this specific tool, I did have to buy this key separate. Um, so I did have to make... Uh, instead of just buying the set, I had to buy two different tools. I mean, the price for both isn't that crazy, uh, but it is. I would like to see them offer a set, maybe with the offset and the key. Um, if they sell together, which maybe the price is a little bit lower than if you were to buy each one separate, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but that's all I have for this review of the Hilmer Refrigeration Service Wrench. Um, if you are new to the channel, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.